The year is 1958. And the place is China. And they're ready to go to war with one of the most dangerous species to ever touch the planet Earth. It will need everyone in the country's help, including children and even the elderly. And anyone who resists should be punished. And the enemy is a sparrow. Yes, a bird. And this idea caused more loss of lives than World War I. Seriously. But let's go above the brain and figure out why. The chairman of China, Mao Zedong, once won the most dangerous programs in the history of history, called the Great Leap, which included the Four Pest Campaign. And the goal of the campaign was to eliminate rats, flies, mosquitoes, and sparrows. But Mao's logic was that if sparrows ate a decent amount of grain, if he eradicates all of them, then there would be more food for Chinese people. But many Chinese scientists warned him against trying to eradicate these poor birds. They told him that they have an important role to play within the ecosystem, such as balancing the food chain by keeping other organism population at a reasonable number. But yeah, that really didn't work. Not at all. And the sparrows were treated badly, very bad. They chopped down trees where the sparrows resided and also banging pots and pans day and night so the sparrows couldn't get any sleep and cutting off their food supply to the point where sparrows almost became non-existent in China. Many estimates say millions of them were killed by 1960. So it's fair to say the Chinese won the war but man, did they lose the battle. Sparrow's diet consisted of a large number of insects. And a lot of them are agricultural pests that like to eat food grown by the villagers. So let's do the math here. A lot of bugs that like to eat villagers' crops, minus birds that eat those bugs that eat the villagers' crops. Let's see here, carry the two minus the six. You've made a grave mistake. So, just like the scientists warned, the lotus population boom, swarming the country and compounding the ecological problems already caused by the Great Leap Forward, including widespread deforestation and misuse of poisons and pesticides. The war on sparrows is credited for the Great Chinese Famine, in which 45 million people lost their lives of starvation. Later on in the 1960s, they called off the extermination, apologized to sparrows, and begged them to come back desperately. During the Four Pest Campaign, Mao was so confident in his approach he used a common phrase in Chinese culture. Man must conquer nature. And he lost miserably and ended up trying to conquer starvation. Remember, it's the little things that count. Thank you for watching.